What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It's the Earth Master here on this beautiful Sunday night. Cold and windy out here in California. It is November 6th, 2022, about 8.44 p.m. California time. And the latest quake on the globe shows a 4.3 earthquake here uh, in a little odd area. Let's see exactly where that's striking at. Uh, so far, not showing up on the USGS map. On the EMSC, let's see what we got here for the latest data. Kind of curious to see where that's at. There it is, 4.1. And the Saint, ooh, the Azar Escape St. Vincent Ridge area. A little bit of activity kicking up here along that plate boundary. Don't really see too much activity out there. Also kicking up uh, into the North American plate right now. We have seen a little bit of uptick, uh, including this one within the last hour near the Stanley, Idaho area. 3.6 earthquake coming in at the northern end of the Sawtooth Fault system there. Also some activity kicking up north of Clear Lake, north of Ukiah, just off of the Bartlett Springs Fault. Uh, seen a 3.8 and a 2.5. Down there at about three to three to three point six kilometers below the surface, uh, not a big earthquake at all, but uh, a little bit of uptick in an odd area east of Willets. Again, um, not for certain if this is on. Kind of looks like it's in between the Bartlett Springs Fault and also the Makama Fault system, kicking up there in Northern California. Cobb Mountain area, of course, uh, that's been an ongoing deal there for a little while with the hydrothermal operations. Um, let me go over here to the 2.5 and above. That's about it there for California. Uh, most of the activity today in the microquake department, a little scattered activity along the creeping segment. Also over here east of the Ridgecrest area um, in a little weird spot, uh, the Ash Hill fault zone it looks like. Got a uh, 1.4 coming in uh, to that area. Down south, not a whole lot around the San Andreas Fault. Most of the activity confined to the San Jacinto Fault Zone and also the Elsinore Fault with a little bit of activity uh, just west of the El Centro area. A little swarming out there around the Ocotillo, California area. What else we got here? Any recent activity around Oklahoma? Looks like uh, we did have some kicking up earlier this afternoon. Uh, looks like a little bit of movement outside of the Woodward area. And a most recent quake, a 1.6 near the Pond Creek area out in these oil fields. Uh, looks like the nearest one, a Rich Valley oil field. Uh, let's give a quick glance here at the satellite view. 1.6. This one's pretty deep, though. I mean, that's... Yikes. Um, I wonder if that's been... I just had my lights blink here uh, in the house, so hopefully the stream sh stays up. It is quite windy outside. I'm going to see if this has been reviewed or not. Automatic status. Okay, I was going to say, uh, 36, 34 kilometers down there just seems completely abnormal uh, for this area. So we'll check back on that, see if this gets revised or not. Uh, it is a weekend. I'm sure they'll check on it uh, tomorrow sometime. Kind of curious about that one. Rather odd. Uh, New Madrid zone looks pretty quiet for now. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, we can do a quick glance here of the area uh, around the Arkansas region. Let me see if I got this pulled up. A couple different websites i like to use but uh we can check out uh the area around arkansas which kind of gives us a good indication of any earthquake activity out there around the new madrid zone and it would show up uh, such as a spike here on the graph and i'm not seeing anything at all folks over the last few hours there in the arkansas region and also uh nothing really showing up either on the uh, usgs map for that area Back over here. Nothing going on across the eastern portion of the country. This one up here um, in the New Hampshire area, that one coming in early this morning, way early, about one o'clock in the morning. 
uh, for that 2.3. Kind of up there, you can see, uh, yeah, around the White Mountains, it looks like south of there. See what we got here for the Puerto Rico area. Watching some movement up here around the Puerto Rico Trench once again. Uh, this activity coming in earlier this evening time frame. A pair of threes, 3.8 to be exact. Uh, very close here to the Puerto Rico Trench. This area here is a pretty dangerous area, seismically hazardous area. Uh, in terms of producing a mega quake, got to watch that area pretty closely. Uh, let's see what else we got here across the region. Pacific Northwest, like I said, not a whole lot going on. Uh, a little bit of activity early this morning around the Strait of Juan de Fuca and uh, looks like around Mount Rainier. Uh, let's give a quick glance here of the trimmer department here tonight along the Cascadia. And it looks like we have six epicenters here of trimmer and... Uh, into Northern California. And what kind of kicked up just to the west here upstream? Well, that's right. It was at 3.8 right up here. Um, pretty darn close here with the uh, uh, trimmer. The trimmer sits a little bit further up north, but it's uh, kind of odd to see some further crustal movement, crustal quakes here, uh, following that uh, little period of epicenters up here to the northeast of this region. So I believe this area has seen a little bit of strain currently in the Northern California area. Uh, let's see, South America region. These earthquakes early, 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 early this morning time frame. Nothing really new to report in that region far as 4.0 and above goes. Uh, 5.1 in the South Sandwich Islands area early this morning, about 11 o'clock, looks like before noon for that 5.1. Uh, Alaska has been another area that's kind of been uh, showing a little bit of seismic activity increasing out here um, over the last few hours. Looks like most of this has died down though in terms of the magnitudes. Only a 3.1, a couple other smaller micro microquakes in there as well. But over the last 24 hours, definitely seen uh, a little bit of uptick, 5.1. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, uh, definitely some other activity up there. In the 2.5 and above department, uh, notice that activity scattered out and about here, roughly around the southern Alaska region, a couple around Anchorage as well. Uh, so we're kind of watching this zone here. Western Pacific, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot popping off there now. Um, seems like we're currently on a standstill around this area. And that includes areas around the Solomon Islands as well. And also down here, in the Kermadec Trench and the Tonga area. We did see one 4.7 around the Vanuatu area early this afternoon, but that was about it. So most of the movement here across this area uh, come to a, a complete halt there far as 4.0 and above goes. Did see some activity kick up around Afghanistan most recently here within the last oh, hour or two, 5.4 Eastern Afghanistan. Uh, this area does see quite a bit of seismic activity historically. And a lot of deeper movement taking place here uh, below the uh, mountain ranges there in eastern Afghanistan. Uh, this earthquake down here in South Africa from early this morning, just after midnight actually, a 4.5 uh, there in that region of the world. Uh, taking a look at the earthquake 3D globe here, this will give us a better idea of the magnitudes out here. Some of the smaller ones stretching across the uh, Mediterranean area. Uh, there is that most recent earthquake, 5.4 in Afghanistan. Notice that there is still a couple uh, earthquakes listed up here on the map. Some older movement, though, uh, within this area uh, around northern India up against the Himalaya Mountains. That should be dropping off pretty soon. I think I'm going to drop it down just a little bit because uh, that's uh, it's been over 24 hours now. So I don't want to have anything too uh, lengthy here on the globe. Uh, 4.7 into the uh, Philippine plate. Not for certain if the USGS has shown that earthquake or not. Uh, let me see what we got here. I don't believe they have. Well, actually, take that back. <laughs> 4.7, that one from uh, earlier this evening time frame. That's right, I just mentioned it too. It's been a long day. Uh, not a whole lot of activity. And this is the USGS, or uh, EMSC, I should say. And the GeoNet server is also listed up here on the map. And they're not even really showing anything here around New Zealand area or the Kermadec Trench region. So things awfully, 
awfully quiet right now. Uh, we do have a 3.2 coming in to the California. Well, looks like that's just south of the border. Uh, let's see exactly where that's at. Uh, just coming in. And it kind of looks like that was shown uh, being picked up here on the Barrett station there in Southern California. That's going to be the spike right here. Uh, Barrett sits uh, just to the east here of San Diego. Uh, so a little bit of activity just ramping up now as we speak within the last couple minutes here, actually. 3.2 at 21 kilometers deep. This could be a, uh, considering all the activity we've seen today uh, over, uh, I'd say, the late afternoon to early evening time frame with the uh, inlord, <laughs> inner activity into the North American plate here, uh, you know, with the uh, activity around uh, um, Idaho and also Northern California and movement into the uh, uh, four, well, not the four corners, but uh, Northern Arizona area. Uh, definitely looks like we're on that teeter totter effect tilting this way. Uh, so, watch the West Coast. The Middle America Trench region has seen some activity and it is listed up here on the map. Notice there's uh, quite a few fours across this region and some of it pretty recent. Uh, that is not showing up here on the USGS map, but I do want to take note of that, um, that there is activity kind of verifying that teeter-totter effect uh, in this direction around the eastern Pacific uh, uh, portion of the plate here. So just a heads up uh, for that. Um, West Coast, definitely be on guard there. See what else we got here for activity. South America really calmed down quite a bit uh, there is some deeper movement down there in the smaller magnitudes looks like some twos and threes in there as well um, but definitely uh, i think it's pretty obvious here where most of the earthquake activity is kind of transferring to right now and that's these regions here north american and south america region uh, currently seeing that uptick uh let's see yellowstone national park got uh that is hmm that is going to be the three-pointer. Go back over here to the map. That is going to be the 3.6 that struck here in Idaho, uh, 2014. Uh, 2014, let me hold on a second here. UTC time was 0414. That should be uh, 0414. I guess it's going to be right about here. So that is definitely the uh, earthquake there in Idaho showing up pretty nicely across the area of Yellowstone National Park here. 3.6. As uh, far as seismic activity locally here, looks like a couple small spikes throughout the early evening and afternoon time frame. That's going to be these very small spikes here. Those are earthquakes. Uh, nonetheless, they're small, but hey, they are earthquakes, and those are showing up on the map. No major swarming to take note of, uh, but still some earthquake activity there. Uh, what do we got? Did we have two earthquakes? Let's see what we got here. I guess we did. Look at that. You can kind of see it on this map right here. Um, on the Barrett station, it picked up the first one, which is going to be the smaller one, a 3.2. Uh, and then just a couple minutes later, a 3.6 up here where the hand is. Hopefully you guys can see that. And um, yeah, two of them uh, right off the bat. 21 kilometers deep for the first one and some shallower uh, earthquake activity up against this mountain range here uh, with that 3.6. So activity in Southern California. Maybe I spoke too soon about it being pretty quiet down there. Definitely be on guard. SoCal with that activity around the uh, Baja California region. Of course, the sleeping giant up here. Sleeping uh, monster, I should say. We don't want to wake up the San Andreas Fault. That would not be good. But that's a little bit too far away uh, to trigger anything, I believe. We definitely need to be well within the vicinity of that specific uh, plate boundary to trigger it. I'm sure it's ready to go been building up for well over 300 years it's just a matter of time before it's uh before it's done let's see what else we have here um trimmer we checked out the trimmer i do want to check out the volcanic seismicity map here at newberry volcano 
in the Oregon area. I uh, just kind of like to switch it up here on occasion to see um, each of these volcanoes. Not a whole lot going on here across the area right now. Uh, nor throughout the, uh, the remainder of the uh, pre previous day here looks pretty quiet. Not a whole, whole lot of activity at all. Solar weather activity has been ramping up slightly. Um, we did see an M flare kick up earlier this afternoon, an M5.2 that was sparking up from the sunspot AR3141. Pretty nice little signature there of a solar flare and uh, just kind of popped up and came up out of the blue. Um, again, that's from 3141 over here. And if you look at the magnetic class, let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit more. And yeah, that's probably about as high as it's going to go. Getting a little bit of the mixing of the magnetic polarity of the fields there. That's probably about the best shot that we're going to have uh, for some further flaring. Maybe from this one up here. Uh, this one's kind of been uh, been kind of watching it for some a uh, little bit of intermixing there of the uh, fields. But for now, this one right here looks pretty promising for some further activity. Uh, as we head forward from now, uh, again, the solar flare detection chart did show that uh, pretty nice M 5.2 flare. Things have kind of popped down or uh, um, calmed down a little bit here, but uh, don't let your guard down. Things could pop up really quickly again in the uh, flare department. No major coronal holes facing us. No major CMEs have been produced. Therefore, all the conditions here across the... Uh, Next couple nights here are calm and clear in terms of the uh, roars out here. Not a whole lot of potential uh, for seeing that right now. Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. Um, there's our storm system out here into the uh, California region. This is just about ready to hit me. It's not raining yet, uh, but uh, it's, it's definitely windy. We've got a good chance of some rain coming in tonight with a bunch of snow up here in the Sierra Nevadas. Looking forward to that. We need it. And uh, that low pressure system is going to sit right off the coast of California. Spin up quite a bit of moisture here into the Bay Area, into the valleys, uh, and also bring a lot of snow into the mountain ranges. There's some uh, pretty intense rainfall rates there. Uh, this is going to be on, uh, looks like Monday night into Tuesday and um, it's going to sit there and spin and bring us quite a bit of snow and I think we got another storm or two that we're looking at I hope that wasn't it kind of looks like this weather model has kind of died off died off a little bit uh, following that uh, system there tonight and uh, Monday and Tuesday so we'll take all we can get uh, we definitely need that uh, rainfall and snowfall tremendously I'm hoping for a very wet winter even though these uh la nina patterns don't really favor a um a wet winter here for uh, california maybe extreme northern california and um oregon and washington they do get uh, quite a bit of rainfall look at that 4.3 now hold on a second here let's see what uh let's see what we got kind of looks like they're mixing all the magnitudes up here See what we got, 4.3. So looks like there's actually, wow, three earthquakes here. Um, let me check the graphs here and see what we got. There we go, there's the third one kicking up right now. Uh, see if you guys, make sure you guys can see that. We had a one, two, three, and the magnitudes are only getting larger. Uh, so heads up, Southern California, be on guard. We got three earthquakes here within just a few minutes time frame. And each one has been larger magnitude, so heads up. Again, this Barrett station sits up here just outside of San Diego and uh, definitely picking up that earthquake activity pretty nicely. One, two, three. Alrighty. We're going to jump off here, folks. Stay safe and be prepared out there. Got a whole lot going on right now. And um, just make the best of it. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there.